Shut up and sit down. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Electrician Live. My name is Paul Abernathy, your host, and welcome to the podcast video cast. Now, I'm going to do something today that I don't normally do. Uh, I'm going to do a product review. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to do a 30,000 foot view product review, but I am basing it on some history that I have with this product over the last year and a half. Uh, now, most people know I've been an electrician for over 30 years and I have tools that I really have that are my go-to tools and, uh, and there's certain brands that I like more than others. Again, I'm not overly loyal, believe it or not. Some people are freakily loyal. I am not overly loyal to any brand. Um, so, and I am a frequent shopper of all different types of brands and people don't send me products to review. I buy all the products that I might review. So, a little different. Um, in this case today, I'm reviewing a product that I think is great for, uh, now I was going to say originally, I was going to say it's great for apprentices and journeymen's and, and people on a budget, um, but you know what? Over the past year and a half, I have really come to really love this product and I compare it with other comparable products uh, that don't necessarily cost the same. They cost three and four times more, but I wanted to put the them to the paces. And so every job that I go on now, people say, Paul, do you still go on electrical jobs? Absolutely. I'm still a licensed electrical contractor in the state of Texas. I get called out mainly on troubleshooting stuff. So the product that I'm going to talk about today, I use a lot because normally when electricians do installations, they, they don't do a lot of troubleshooting. They just do the install. And while I do some of that and not as much as I used to, um, now I'm kind of a codesy guy, but I still get out there, get my hands dirty and like to work in the industry, but people call me when there's a problem they can't solve. Um, and so this product I have used a lot in the last year and a half. So I feel comfortable in recommending it. Uh, I won't go over all the details. You can do that, test it for yourself. Uh, but I will talk about what I like about it, and what I think is important with the product. Okay. Without further ado, and before I have my, my people that are going to scream and cry, because of what I'm going to talk about today, it is, it's a product that is purchased at Harbor Freight. Now, before you freak out, I purchase a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight. One, because most of the stuff has a lifetime warranty, and also I buy stuff that I know is for specific use, and I don't think it needs to last forever, okay? But I have generators I've gotten there that have been running for years. Love them. Um, and I have certain tools. I love their Doyle line of hand tools. Okay, it's a more premium, if you will, from the Harbor Freight line of tools. Um, and I like them. And I have dropped them, put them through the paces, and know other people that have recommended to them to try. That's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about a piece of equipment that people get very sensitive about, and that is clamp-on meters. Now, it's a multimeter, but it's also a clamp-on meter. And what we're going to talk about specifically is the CM1000A meter from Harbor Freight. Now, this is made by AIM and AMES Ames. And I want to talk a little bit about this meter because the first thing people say is, Paul, how in the world could you recommend at your level in the industry a meter that comes from Harbor Freight? First of all, this meter is probably like most OEMs, it's produced by a manufacturer, and this is sending it directly to people at a reduced cost versus the cost you might get if somebody slaps their name on it and sells it by somebody else, okay? It's called branding. Um, this meter has been put through the paces for over a year and a half. And uh, in fact, I even still left the plastic on the, and I do that with my watches and I leave it on there, no sense in taking it off, protecting that LCD screen uh, until a point it's got to come off. I have taken this. It's a little dirty. I've dropped it in places, uh, and I still check it. I, I, when I say drop, I'm not dropping it from ladders. I'm careful with my tools. Um, but I have put it through its paces for over a year and a half next to my flukes. And I'm going to tell you what. Um, this is an impressive meter at any price point. 
and it compares very favorably to any of those higher priced units. Now this unit, let's get it out of the way. And depending on where you're at and coupons you use, if your coupon's available, you can get this anywhere between $99 and $130. Um, you're thinking, for a meter? A clamp on meter? Well, let me tell you what. This does AC, it does DC, does those up to 1,000 volts, um, either AC or DC. Um, it does uh, uh, ampacity, so you got the clamp on feature. Um, and I tell you what, it's a Cat 3, so it's a 1,000 volt rated. It, here's some interesting things about it is that when I'm testing motors, it has the inrush hold feature, so I can see what the inrush is at the hold, so I know why a breaker's tripping, what's going on uh, for other applications. Uh, it also has the ability to test capacitance, uh, capacitors, uh, which is not something you can do in normal meters. Uh, the other thing I like it is it is a true RMS. So I still use this in conjunction with a non-RMS uh, standard uh, meter, and a uh, clamp on meter in order to test the systems for harmonics. There's a, there's a little equation that we can do for harmonics on a system. And, and so I still keep my other meter, but this is my true RMS meter. Um, and it also measures Hertz. Okay. So you could have a system that's having some problems and you want to make sure that Hertz 60 Hertz or it's right about there. Uh, it'll do Hertz as well. Um, and it has a lot of functionality in it as far as the decimal points and the ranging. It has a wide range of, of applications to break it down for the values that you're going to read on the screen. Um, it also has a minimum and max. It has a notice to set that if it reaches the minimum and max that you set it at. Um, and it does also resistance. Uh, and it has obviously a continuity test feature in it as well. Uh, it also has a light on it, so if you're going into a panel or area, the light will come on so you can kind of see what you're doing before you clamp it on. Okay, so it has that as well. Um, but the other neat thing about this is it has a built-in non-contact voltage detector. Now, that's pretty neat because you can get the voltage detector, and usually they're kind of spotty. Now this one, while it can be sensitive, um, it is really detects the voltage very well. In fact, I use it, and I'm going to do a demonstration for you right here, and hopefully that'll come up on the camera. But I have found out that with this unit, the sensitivity is not overly sensitive where it picks up stray voltage that could cause it to act funky. It literally reacts to the voltage, and I am actually able to trace a circuit in the wall. And that's important when you're going in and you're trying to see well, which way does the circuit go? Uh, does it go one way to the other? Uh, if you're going to have to do repairs in the wall or something like that, you can actually use this to kind of follow out and see which way things go. If I'm looking for a circuit in a box and I want to see which one goes up to the light, and you're thinking you, it, it actually can pick it up through the gypsum board. Okay, So I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove it to you. Hopefully this will pick that up. So I'm going to turn it down to the non-contact. Okay, so now... What you can't see is a wall behind me, and I'm going to try to get this out so you can see it, is a receptacle down here. And hopefully this will pick up the sound. And so when I do this, you're going to see that it's going to detect it. Now, in the wall, it's not detecting anything. Now, watch when I get over to the receptacle, which is just outside of camera view. Now, listen. You hear that? Now watch when I move it up the wall because I happen to know the wiring goes up to this box. Hear it? Now watch, I'm just going to stop when I get past where the wire turns horizontal. Not up here. Now I'm going to come back down. Now watch it go to the right. That tells me the cable goes that way. Now watch me go to the left. Come back down to the box. So it actually is sensitive enough to pick up the voltage. Uh, and that is important if I'm troubleshooting. It does help if I'm trying to trace which way the wire is going or how I might utilize it. Or if I'm at the top of the wall and I'm, if they're coming down and I want to run it across the top to make sure it's coming down from the top. Um, Again, it's sensitive enough that it picks that up, at least in my case, in my testing. Uh, it's been very consistent uh, over the past year and a half that I've utilized it. It does every other feature that a normal clamp-on, uh, ACDC clamp-on meter will do. 
Again, does all the voltage, tons of functions, features, um, all incorporated into it. Again, a lot of guys that deal with capacitors and HVAC like this unit as well. It is ruggedized. Uh, the coating on it is kind of like a rubberized coating. Um, it is very well made. You can clamp the leads into the back, and it does come with leads. And I would say these are pretty decent leads. I will say I was kind of surprised. Um, it does come with the manual. A manual tells you about all the functions in this meter. Uh, again, people tell me all the time, they say, Paul, how in the world can you promote something from Harbor Freight? Well, I'll be honest with you, I love Harbor Freight. I've had tools, like I said, I've had tools that I broke. I took it back and they gave me another tool. Um, and you got to remember, um, I am not going to recommend anything if I hadn't tested it. Now, you might end up getting one and you might not like it. Okay, I'm sorry. Can't please everybody. But for my cases... Um, it is the clamping is good tension. It's been it hasn't been reduced since I've used it and I've used it a lot. Um, again, so many features. I encourage you to go visit it. Now, go over to Harbor Freight's website. They don't have an affiliate program. I'm not getting anything. I'm not providing links for it. Just go to Harbor Freight and look for the CM 1000 A and you'll be surprised that this meter is an amazing meter for what it does. And I encourage you, put it beside the meter. I mean, who couldn't have another meter, right? Who wouldn't want another meter? Put it beside your meter that you're currently using and test it out. You might also see a difference between what you get in a true RMS meter versus a non-RMS meter, okay, of lesser quality. So I want you to make sure you compare this apples to apples, compare it to a true RMS meter, and I think you'd be surprised at the quality of this, this meter. So again, it's called the CM1000A, uh, and I put it through its paces for over a year and a half, and uh, it has done an amazing thing. Uh, it's got all its listings on it. It is CAT3 for 1,000 volts, uh, maximum of 1,000 amps uh, with this unit. Um, again, I like the inrush feature when I'm testing motors and things like that to see what the actual inrush, and of course, it has a hold feature, so it holds. Um, and so there's just so much in here. You have to read this. In fact, I was so impressed with it that I, I bought my brother one and gave it to him, uh, for his, um, for Christmas present. Um, I, I love the fact that it has the non-content that literally is reliable to me. It is reliable and it's all in one. You got your tick tracers. That's great. But I've got my meter. I can whip it out and it is very reliable in how it activates. Um, and again, very sensitive, so I can literally trace it in the wall. That is something that is kind of sometimes a hit or miss with other tracers, uh, but this one definitely can do it, and I'm not sticking anything into the plugs inserts, uh, into the receptacle, okay? It gets you about this close, and it starts to activate, so it's, that's pretty good. Uh, all the things on it are kind of have a rubbery feel to it, so it's not going to be something that you drop. Uh, it just does not feel cheaply made. And so you might say, well, everything from Harbor Freight is cheaply made. Well, then you don't shop very often at Harbor Freight. Now, I get it. There's tool freaks out there that love their brands. Hey, I'm not here to take you away from your brand, okay? But if you need a good, reliable meter, clamp-on meter, backup meter, or you might find out that it'll overtake your primary meter, and this might be the meter that you use more often than not because of all the features that are in here. And again, go through it and look at it. Hertz, maximum hold, minimum hold, full range. Uh, it also has inrush hold, uh, all different types of internal functions, um, capacitance value readings. There's just a lot of stuff in here. So again, HVAC guys, good meter for you. Electricians, diamond in the rough. And very affordable and reliable and probably costs about a third of its comparable meter in another manufacturer's brand. Okay, In fact, you might even see this very meter labeled as another manufacturer, okay? And they're going to charge twice or three times as much here as this meter, okay? All right, guys. Hopefully you got something out of that. Check it out. See if it's not a meter that you might be interested in dealing with. Shut up and sit down.